We are officially unveiling the first sign on the Northeast Louisiana Music Trail honoring Fred Carter, Jr. It's the first of its kind sign in Louisiana. It made perfect sense to start the trail with a sign dedicated and honoring Fred Carter, Jr., who has played with everybody on the planet. Doyle Jeter has been on a mission to honor musicians who grew up in Northeast Louisiana. I moved here from Pennsylvania, late 60s, and I found out real fast that this area of the country, in its particular Northeast Louisiana, is where the heart and soul and Mississippi of music in general the blues and country and gospel and rock and roll. Got it. So the launch of the Northeast Louisiana Music Trail starts with Fred Carter Jr., a talented guitarist who played for numerous A-list singers and bands. He toured with Roy Orbison and Conway Twitty, played with Willie Nelson and Bob Dylan, just to name a few. His daughter, Dina Carter, famous for the 1997 Song of the Year hit, Strawberry Wine, says people know her dad for his guitar playing but his musical talents go far beyond the guitar. What I understand, he was playing fiddle at about two years old, just virtuoso like no other, and then picked up the guitar when he knew the Hayride needed a guitar player like later on in life. But he just always, they talk about him being a dreamer in the cotton fields and wanting to, you know, not pick cotton, he wanted to be playing music. So they were honored when Jeter and several others worked to raise the money and put up this permanent marker in the heart of town. Dad would be so proud. He would just, I know he's here with us, you know. He would just, he loved his hometown. He loved his family and they instilled that in him and he instilled that in us. And so I said earlier, it's more for him about family even, but music has just been a part of the family, so you can't separate the two. They go together. Dina, along with Bobby Bridger, held a concert at the historic Princess Theater in downtown Winsboro, paying tribute to not only Fred Carter Jr., but those who love the rich musical roots of this region. We have coming up uh, signs that are already in motion for Webb Pierce from West Monroe, Hoss Logan from Marouge, uh, Tony Joe White from Oak Grove, and uh, Bobby Bridger from Columbia, and it goes on and on. Henry and Tookie, Blues Giants from uh, Rayville. And uh, you know, it's, it, it's really great. We're finally getting to thank the performers, the musicians, and in a very real way to thank the people that have supported this music for, in our case, for 42 plus years, but in general for hundreds of years in this area. In Winsboro, Louisiana, I'm Tammy Arinder for RFD-TV.